Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and inform you guys a little bit of this new character that I'm playing but will not be playing anymore, which is going to be the Boner Nova and or Bone Nova Cycloner. Now, um, the reason why I didn't release a video in the past couple days is I didn't want to show you guys a progression video of this character because I had a feeling that I was going to stop playing it and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But this build is pretty much all centered around utilizing the Olnitol weapon for the trigger level 20 bone nova when you kill a bleeding enemy now just to show you guys what bone nova is uh, it's got the project it's got the tags for attack so you can scale it with like flat fizz uh, projectile and i forgot the other one those are the two main things basically now the reason why this is kind of awkward is because when you're playing a melee build you don't use a projectile unless you're spectral throw so you're trying to scale two things that are a bit difficult um, which kind of poses an issue the other thing about bone nova is it only originally fires how many projectiles eight nine projectiles which is just unfortunately not enough um so i really do think you need to use like gmp with it but i'll show you guys in a little bit let me just show you guys a, a few more things with it uh i also went ahead and picked up point blank with the character because you know we are scaling the projectiles and i did grab iron grip now i don't have too much strength uh but it still does make quite a big difference for just one point so this is my tree. I want to say it looks like a standard Cycloner. Um, we still can grab Executioner and Wrecking Ball, but I don't really plan on playing the character much further. Um, with further testing, I noticed that like I really <laughs> did not enjoy the character. So I went out of my way and bought a Sin's Rebirth uh, for some additional damage scaling just to show you guys if you want to see. It does scale the Bone Nova. Uh, I also went and got a Shaper's Touch with Vulnerability on hit just because you know might as well see what you can squeeze out of it. Uh, the last thing to do is either get a Taste of Fate or a Dying Sun. Unfortunately, though, it wouldn't really fix anything. I mean, Dying Sun might because it's two additional projectiles. But if you're going to invest that much char or currency into a character, you might as well just make like a real Cyclone build and everything will be fixed. Um, but yeah, so to go over the links really fast, we've got Pierce. Uh, Pierce, GMP, Added Fire, Damage on Full Life, Physical Projectile Attack Damage, and Maim. Um, you can swap out... I don't know, really whatever you want and test it out yourself and see. Remember, you cannot use melee damage supports for this. Um, I did try this with Pierce. The problem with Pierce is like, you just don't do any damage with Pierce. And if you remove GMP, you don't have enough projectiles. And if your projectiles don't hit anything, they're not going to, sorry, they're not going to chain anything. Chain is what I was talking about. So I decided to opt out and go with Pierce. Uh, I'm playing a Raider with this build because Raider gets Frenzy Charges, which is a global scaling of your damage, basically. You also get movement speed and attack speed and attack damage per Frenzy Charge of the Avatar of the Slaughter. This is very important because Olatol is a 0.87 attack speed weapon, and uh, that's not really good. <laughs> so you want to make sure you can fix that. And then Avatar of the Veil just gives you elemental immunity, which means you can invest more into your uh, unique flasks, which gives you some more damage scaling. You could play this as a Pathfinder too, and it'd probably be fine. The last thing to really talk about is that you can use the Harbinger Belt to reduce the cooldown. So Bone Nova has an implicit 0.5 second cooldown, but with um, with the Flow Untethered, you can actually go to 0.42. Let's go ahead and show you guys the map. I'm uh, level 77. I'm going to go run a T2 Oasis map because I'm scared, uh, because this character has no form of defense in any type of way. So let me go ahead and show you guys the character. Now, one thing is my Cyclone links are really bad, don't judge me, but I've got Cyclone, Melee Physical, Maim, Faster Attacks, and Fortify. The reason why I'm not using Conk Effect is my character is not very smart, but mainly because if I use Conk Effect, then everything dies, and then I can't actually show you the Bone Nova. Uh, so, you know, we're actually trying to show the Bone Nova, so here we go. Just kidding, they're going to die anyway, so there's the Bone Nova that you can see. And that's a mini K. It really is not that bad. Like, in terms of, like, if you plan on only pushing, like, T5 maps, it's a great build. I mean, probably not. It's just, I don't know, it... it it's like kind of fun to look at, but in reality, it's just, you know, when you're doing, when you're just trying to make a character and scale it really far, you just get split between trying to scale like projectile versus the other thing. 
Um, I can show you guys if I were to remove GMP here, you won't even see like the projectiles. There's like so few of them. Uh, and this is why I was saying you really have to use like GMP. Because if you don't use GMP, you just don't have any projectiles and it doesn't matter how much the projectiles do. If they don't actually hit anything, there's like no point in using them. So that's why I was saying like Dying Sun would go a long way with the build as well. But at that point in time, it's like you're just you're going way too hard to try to scale something that's just non-existent. I was thinking of playing Deadeye originally because Deadeye would give chain and you get one proj. The big problem with going Deadeye is I feel that you would not do any damage with your Cyclone because you're now playing a projectile build. And I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but um, Cyclone is not a projectile. So uh, that's the only thing that really pushed me away from it. Na 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 T2 maps Oh yeah, I don't remember if I said this at the beginning of this video or not because I had to do a retake So I apologize. This is a hashtag scripted, but I believe there is a guy who is playing uh, this uh, Not this build but using this weapon and he's he did like a 90% cold conversion from sorrow prolific night I'm gonna assume he had much better results than me. I have no clue what his single target looked like. But if you want to try to play this build, I would potentially say maybe try to go with an Ignite version just because, again, of the way the projectiles interact. Um, that's probably what I would tell you guys. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Um, nothing really too special on the gear. I'll leave this character up for like 24 hours before I scrap the gear or something. So if you guys wanna look at it, Feel free to look at my boner and uh, you can see everything there on my profile. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. There's really not too much to talk with. Uh, I can still get quite high single target because I have to grab like Wrecking Ball, Executioner, get a six link and use Conk Effect. But again, at that point, and I have no jewels, if, you're, if your build is doing so much damage with Cyclone and all the tall procs when you kill a bleeding enemy, if you one shot a target, it doesn't roll the bleed, I don't believe. So, like, there's really no point in using the weapon. You might as well just play an actual Cyclone build. Um, but, I mean, it was kind of a fun journey to try out and see, like, how this character really worked. But, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Like I said before, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And hope to see you guys in Grim Dawn on the 11th. Have a wonderful time, everybody.